In this example, I'm given the diagram of a triangle and I'm given the measure of each angle in terms of the variable x. And I need to find the measure of each angle in this triangle. Well, quickly reviewing the sum of the angles in a triangle. The sum of the measures of the three interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So I'm going to have to add up my three angles and set it equal to 180 degrees. So my first angle is 2x minus 10 degrees. And I have to add to that my second angle of 3x plus 40 degrees. Add my third angle of x degrees. And that has to add up to 180 degrees. As all my angles are in degrees, I'm not going to write the degree symbol until I get to my final answers. Now, do I need these parentheses here? No, I just have a plus one in front of both of them. So this is 2x minus 10 plus 3x plus 40 plus x equals 180. Simple linear equation. I'm going to combine like terms. 2x and 3x is 5x added to 1x is 6x. And then negative 10 added to 40 is plus 30. And that has to equal 180. Now to get x by itself, the first thing I'm going to have to do is subtract 30 from both sides. So 6x equals 180 minus 30 is 150. Divide both sides by 6. These 6s reduce, I get x equals 150 divided by 6 is 25. So I found the value of x, does that mean I solved the problem? No, they asked me to find the measure of each angle in this triangle. I know this one here is 25 degrees, but I'm going to have to evaluate the other two when x is 25. So 2x minus 10 is just going to be 2 times x is 25 minus 10. 2 times 25 is 50. 50 minus 10 is 40. And my other angle was 3x plus 40. So it's 3 times x, which is 25 plus 40. 3 times 25 is 75 plus 40. 75 plus 40 is 115. So the measures of the angles are, the first one was 25 degrees. The next one was 40 degrees. And the last one is 115 degrees. So now I've solved this problem. And don't forget, how can you check you've got it right? Add up these three numbers and what should they add up to? 180 degrees. Is that true in this case? Yes. So you know you've got the problem correct.